Fuji Single Grain is the first Kirin whiskey to be exported to the US. Has it been worth the wait? Welcome to Kanpai Planet, bringing you the world of Japan's drinks direct from the heart of Tokyo. I'm Mac, and today we're taking a look at Fuji Single Grain Whiskey from Kirin. In November 1973, the Fuji Gotemba distillery was completed and began production that month. It was built by Kirin Seagram, a joint venture established in August 1972 between Kirin Brewery, J.E. Seagram and Sons, and Shivas Brothers. It's in Gotemba, in Shizuoka Prefecture, and sits at a height of 620 meters above sea level, 12 kilometers from the base of Mount Fuji, surrounded by beautiful forest with an average annual temperature of 13 degrees centigrade. With a size of 155,000 square meters, they make both molten grain whiskey there and fermentation, distillation, aging, blending, and bottling are all performed on site. Their goal was to combine the world's whiskey making technology with Japanese sensibilities to create whiskey for the Japanese palate, neither scotch nor bourbon. Their first whiskey, a blend called Robert Brown, came out in February 1974 and is still on sale to this day. Over the next three decades, this was joined by a new release every few years. In July 2002, in the wake of the Seagram breakup, the company became a wholly owned subsidiary of Kirin Holdings and changed its name to Kirin Distillery. It's at that point that they began really leaning into their Mount Fuji connections and they released their first single malt, the Fuji Sanroku 18 year in 2004. Momentum was built with each release and they started gaining international attention and winning awards. However, their sales focus remained purely domestic. Over the last few years, Kirin Holdings has come under increasing pressure from some of their activist investors to ramp up their beverage business and international operations. Whiskey was always going to be a key part of that strategy and they've invested heavily to help achieve it, spending 8 billion yen, that's 80 million US dollars, on four new mash tons, four new stills and a new storehouse, which will expand their aging capacity by 20%. Their overseas push began rather surreptitiously with an English language trademark filing for the name Mount Fuji Distillery in early 2020. Although interestingly, the Japanese name remains Fuji Gotemba Distillery. This was followed by new product launches, which began on the 21st of April, 2020, with the launch of Fuji Single Grain Whiskey. Initially on sale only in Japan, you can see it was designed with overseas customers in mind. Check out its very clear English language labeling. Fuji was originally a Japan only on trade release, but was made available for home tipplers from the 26th of February, 2021. Finally, that overseas push. In October, 2020, they began exporting it to France. And on the 20th of August, 2021, it became the first Kirin whiskey to be exported to the US. Fuji sells in Japan on Kirin's official drinks website for 6,600 yen. That's around 60 US dollars. You can find it elsewhere in the market for around 1,000 to 2,000 yen cheaper than that. However, in the US, it's around $95, about 50% more than Kirin's suggested selling price and about twice what you can get it for here. So what do US tipplers have to look forward to? Well, they'll get a 700 milliliter bottle like we get here. And what a bottle. The bottom rises inward in the shape of iconic Mount Fuji. There's a lot of hidden meaning and symbolism in this label, which was the work of legendary designer Masaaki Hiromura. Fuji is referred to as whiskey with an E, which is how it's spelt in Ireland and the US. Now, Japanese whiskey typically follows the Scotch tradition, so whiskey is almost always written here without an E. This was one of many clues that Kirin were leaning more and more into their grain whiskey heritage. By the way, they own Four Roses Bourbon. 45% of the distillery site is forest, and that's evoked here in the different greens used on the label. It's 46% ABV, but it's one of the very few times I've seen that written on a Japanese whiskey label as 92 proof, another clue as to where this whiskey was always intended to go. Prior to the launch of Fuji, the classic Kirin Distillery coat of arms may well have been used on the bottle, but now it's joined by this F. The F here symbolizes three things, Fuji, freedom, and finest. 
The F was inspired by a font designed by Nakahama John Mangiro, a fisherman who was washed ashore on an uninhabited island in the Pacific Ocean, saved by an American whale ship, and spent 10 years in the US from 1841 to 1851, just before Japan's two centuries of isolation came to an end. Mangiro was almost certainly the first Japanese person to ride a train, take a steamship, officer an American vessel, and command a trans-Pacific voyage. Basically, a legend. The Latin peritus et universum means skillful and universal. You've got the kanji, the Chinese characters for Fuji, in ink, written in the very clear Mingchuo style, on some lovely textured paper. Taking a look at the back label, the first thing that stands out to me is this slogan, pure and mellow. Reminds me of the Kanoska distilleries, mellow land, mellow whiskey. There's even an invitation here for you to visit the Mount Fuji distillery. It also says aged in casks, which, you know, one would hope. Overall, it's a very clean, neat design, which ties into the philosophy of wanting to showcase a world-class Japanese whiskey and make it more accessible. F also stands for follow and friends. Subscribe to Kanpai Planet and please share these videos with all your drinks loving chums. On to the juice inside. Fuji is the brainchild of Jota Tanaka, the 2017 Icons of Whiskey Master Distiller slash Master Blender of the Year. You'll be pleased to know that Fuji complies with the standards announced by the JSLMA in February 2021 to be called a true Japanese whiskey. The backbone of the blend is a Canadian style medium type grain whiskey made by batch distillation, similar to a malt whiskey pot still called a kettle distiller. The only kettle distiller outside the US is at Mount Fuji Distillery. This takes more time than a continuous distiller, but produces a soft but rich fruity distillate. This backbone is supported by a bourbon style, heavy type grain distillate made with a doubler. And guess where the only doubler outside the US is? The third component is a Scotch style, light type grain distillate made with a multi-column continuous still. This enhances the characteristics of the other components. The exact mash bill for Fuji single grain is undisclosed. However, we know that for the light and medium type, it's a mix of corn and some malted barley. For the heavy type, some rye is added to that mix. It's made with water from Mount Fuji, which is some of the softest water in Japan. Over 50 years, Mount Fuji meltwater journeys through the lava, through underground veins, eventually becoming spring water. It's aged mainly in American white oak barrels. It's a no age statement bottle and Kieran haven't disclosed any details about average age. But if you're the kind of person that is bothered by that, then Kieran have you covered. On their drinks website, Kieran sell a 30 year old version of this for 275,000 yen. That's around $2,500. Thankfully, that price includes tax. Concepts of freedom, and subverting conventional whiskey wisdom are prevalent in the design and also in the serving suggestion. Master blender Jota Tanaka wants you to drink this in a Sauvignon Blanc glass because he's never steered me wrong before. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's check out the color. Oh, I am loving this color, this tawny, auburn, beautiful thing on the nose. Ooh, that is lovely. I'm getting this beautiful line between ripe fruit, apple, banana, pear, and also baked fruit. There's a little cinnamon and licorice there as well. The nose is bold and confident, but not overpowering at all. Somewhere between a rye whiskey and a brandy. Kampai. It's got a lovely soft mouthfeel. Those fruit notes I got on the nose are there on the palate, now joined by some orange. That sweet, subtle spice, that cinnamon, is joined now by some rye bread and a little bit of bitter chocolate. That estery ripe fruit note that I get with a lot of Kirin's whiskies, they attribute to two factors. One is their use of 180 litre barrels, rather like the bourbon industry, to increase that contact area of the distillate with the wood. And the second one is their use of proprietary yeasts. The finish is medium, starts off sweet, you get a bit of woodiness and then incense. And finally, this lovely, homely rye bread feeling. What's the verdict?
This is a cracking single grain whiskey. Just gonna have another sip because it's fantastic. Should you buy it? For what you can get it for in Japan, around 5,000 yen, 45 US dollars, absolutely. At the US price of around $95, you are gonna be paying for that Japanese whiskey flex, but taste-wise, it's definitely one to consider adding to the home bar. We have a saying here, a wise man climbs Fuji once, only a fool climbs it twice. But Fuji single grain whiskey is a bottle I can keep climbing into again and again. Until next time, kanpai.